Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about... Can I help you? Nah, I'm good, but thanks for asking. What are you doing here? I'm here to record a video for our channel. Um, I was just about to do another video on a video game. Cool, but I need to record a video, so I need you to step aside. This is my channel. I get to dictate what content gets published. Um, sure, but like I said, I need to talk about some important stuff. So can you like go get a coffee or something? What kind of review are you going to do? I really don't want to reveal everything right now, but let's just say it's a review of 2023. Why are you all dressed up? I'm doing a review of our 2023 content year and what our community can expect for 2024. So I thought it would only be appropriate that I get Gucci'd up for this occasion. Plus, I have a party to go to after I shoot this. Um, I would invite you to come with me, but all you do is wear t-shirts and play video games all day. So if you don't mind, I'd like to get on with it and shoot this video. So can you like just go? You know, we're 48 hours away from 2023 finally coming to an end. And I thought it would be an appropriate time to reveal what has transpired for me personally, content wise in 2023. And although I could literally sit here for hours to talk about my journey, the ups and downs, the victories, the defeats. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I know this is a time of year where everybody uh, is probably just chilling and getting ready to hit the big party for New Year's Eve. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet, but I don't want to discount what has happened in 2023 for me on a personal level and content level. So um I just wanted to make this video for a couple of reasons, but this is the journey of 2023 for me. And I don't know why, but sometime in April, I made a decision. I had been struggling content wise. I predominantly was just live streaming on Twitch, uh, on and off, off and on for, excuse me, for years and years and years, with, really with, little success you know i became an affiliate in twitch but really um i wasn't going anywhere from a content perspective and during that time i was always told and and read that you know you got to do other content you got to do other social media you got to post content not just live stream but i loved playing video games and all i wanted to do was stream and connect with people playing those games. Um, so I kind of put that to the side. Anyway, I don't know. I guess maybe it was a lack of success or just going live every night for so many years and having maybe two or three people there. Most nights, most nights nobody. Um, that I decided, you know what? Like, take your own advice when it comes to the advice I've given myself throughout my life and my career. Um, was, you know what, you need to continue to evolve uh, and grow uh, if you want to succeed in anything you do. Um, so I said, you know what, you got to start creating content. Anyway, on April 15th, and this is my YouTube channel behind me, on April 15th, 2023, I decided to publish my very first video. I, I had a YouTube channel, I rebranded it, um, and PoE had just been launching the crucible league and it's a game that i dabbled in a little bit it uh so i decided let me do a video on someone new to the game playing uh, path of exile so i created my very first video on april 15th and um you know it i did about five or six videos on poe over the next uh couple of weeks and months leading into april and may and really, I got 
you know, hundreds of views. And I think the most I got on my POE content in the beginning was just under 500 views. So I was like, okay, uh, someone, many people told me it takes years and years and years and years to succeed on YouTube. So I thought, you know, this is part of the game. Um, but then on June 1st, just days prior to Diablo 4 launching, um, I started to post content on Diablo 4. And June 1st was my very first video on Diablo 4. And it was a game that I was going to be playing. I was super excited about it. And I was really looking forward to talking about something that I really looked forward to playing. And I thought, wow, this is going to give me a lot of content too. And I published that video on Diablo 4. And long story short, things started picking up and I was creating more and more content. Initially, um, my very first so-called mini successful video was on an XP farm in Diablo 4. It got me a, a couple of thousand views and I was like, wow, you know, this is, this is awesome. So if I do things correctly, um, YouTube rewards you with it. And long story short, I, you know, after 126 videos, I became a YouTube partner. Now I had originally set a goal for me to become a YouTube partner by the, by December 31st, 2023. And we smashed that months and months and months, uh, in advance, uh, Things really took off with my Diablo 4 content. There's a video that I'm very proud about um, that to this day, uh, it's over 8,000 views and it's about um, Diablo 4's um, why they can't fix Diablo 4. And uh, this is the one right here. I'm just gonna click Bye. it. They would and <laughs> I look back on these videos and um yeah it's just just maddening so basically it's my reason blizzard will not fix it they don't have a roadmap and I actually I'm just gonna hit pause I actually watched rewatched this video a couple of days ago and it's amazing how pretty accurate I was in that video I gotta say um you know, months and months after with everything and all the things that have gone on with Diablo 4, and I'm not going to get into it, but um, that video right there changed my my perspective. Uh, four or five months ago, that video came out. It completely changed my mindset on what the potential was for me on YouTube. So the fact that we were able to achieve becoming a YouTube partner in that amount of time is, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, what it went from how am I ever going to achieve this to wow, we did it. And it just happened so fast, so quickly. I have to say it was a little bit overwhelming and you tie me kind of letting go of D4 like, I mean, as far as playing it and then, you know, being exposed to Diablo 2 Resurrected and that was another change for our growth and content in 2023. And um, we started playing and live streaming and I'm, you know, I'll go over to my um, live tab playlist, sorry. And these are all of my live streams basically predominantly all on D2R. And I have to say the combination of becoming a YouTube partner in 2023 and the growth I've seen on our live streams and, and cons you know, when I first started live streaming on, and on YouTube, I, you know, I was getting five, six, seven people coming on in watching 
And then the following weeks, that kind of grew to 10, 12, 13. And then in the following week, it was going 15, 20. And it's now to the point where we're getting 30, 40 plus consistently. And I, I just, I, I, I don't know how to express my thanks to everybody that not only has continually watched my content, commented on my content, liked my content, subscribed to my channel, but also come every night, come to my live stream and watch me fumble around, as I've said, in the games that I decide to play. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, my perspective on what I want to achieve for 2024 has completely changed. We have some big plans. I hope I can deliver on them. And so I wanted to, number one, say thank you for 2023. We became a YouTube partner. Um, so that is awesome. I'm super happy about that. We continue to grow as a channel. Our community continues to grow as a channel. Our live streams are popping relative to a size of, of the channel, my size. Um, obviously, uh, in the perspective, in the big picture, we are still a very small community. We're still, my live streams, you know, even for me, I consider them to be popping off in the grand scheme of things. It's a very still, the, my lives are still very small, you know, 30, 40 people. Don't get me wrong. That's amazing. I love it. Um, it, it's unbelievable. There's nothing more than I, there's two things I enjoy to do. That's number one, make content and number two, live stream and get to engage and talk and laugh and, and, and debate with the community and chat. It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just something I've always loved to do. And thank you for all of you that continue to come every night and uh join me on whatever game i'm playing and the journey that i'm playing and right now i'm on a hell of a journey uh, but we're not going to get into that um now so thank you for 2023 thank you thank you thank you 2024 um i just want to kind of give a little bit of a roadmap of what i expect in 2024 as a channel clearly we're going to continue to consistently make content for my YouTube channel. Obviously, we're just under 1500 subscribers. Obviously, I want to, you know, multiply that by a thousand times. I do. <laughs> this is crazy, but it's it's a long, long term goal. I do want to hit 100,000 subscribers one day. That may take many, many, many years. But that is a goal of mine. I want that plaque. Um, I, I, it's something that I've realized that if I really um, amp up and step up my game and uh, create better content, consistent content, that that is something that I do want to achieve. Uh, and I've said before, you need to set high standards for yourself and this is a high standard it's going to be a very very tall order to do this but it's a challenge i'm willing to accept and so that is a very long-term goal of mine so we you can rely on me to continually co uh, create content in 2024 and um obviously the landscape the gaming landscape will have uh will play a part in what I talk about and what I don't talk about. Um, if you're watching this for the very first time, or if this is a video of mine that you're watching for the very first time, I've said many times that I, I, I will sprinkle in my content, like actual gameplay, you know, XP farms, how to do this, how to level this, how to, I'll sprinkle that. But the main theme of my channel my content is i i want to rely so i have a business background i've been an executive i've been in a leadership role i've had a you know i've owned a company and so i want to apply that knowledge to the to the video game industry and i like to talk more about the why things are happening or what does this mean and what's the impact and why are these decisions being made and so forth and 
all that kind of stuff. So that'll be cons that'll be continue in 2024. What's going to change probably in 2024 is I think obviously with D. So regarding Diablo 4, really it all depends on whether the big ticket items get fixed. Okay, so as soon as Diablo 4 gets more end game content, they really really address itemization and quality of life as soon as those are addressed then most likely you'll see me going back to diablo 4 until that is done i don't see myself going back but i'm just leaving it open diablo 4 i would love to get back into it but the big ticket items need to be addressed so that's diablo 4 regarding d2r Obviously, I'm on this journey right now of completing, wanting to complete Hell Difficulty with a hardcore character. And uh, dependent on how quickly we do that or not do it, um, I will be adding, obviously, more games to my repertoire and my live streams. Um, so what's coming down in 2024? So the games that are coming down in 2024 that I know for sure I will be putting my f feet in the water with, and that's... 100 percent uh path of exile 2 for sure we will be definitely doing the beta hopefully i will have access i hear i hear it's a closed beta um so i hope i can get access to it and uh ggg i would love to have access if it's true that it's a closed beta so i definitely want to try explore that and if it looks like and I think the game that it's going to be, it's something that I see um, dominating a lot of my content and my time, both on videos and live streams, but time will tell. And another big, big game that I'm looking forward to and I actually will have access to, I think it's called Alpha 2. That's the next beta test with Ashes of Creation, which I do have access to. I do have a key, which I bought many 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 years ago um so i do have access to that i will be uh sinking my teeth into that game um as well now those are the two things i know for sure there's a lot of other games that people have sent to me dm'd me and reached out to me about that um i i, I don't want to talk about right now because it's too early um but i just want to say 2024 hopefully we'll see a new sprinkle of different games than you've seen me play in 2023. But of course, I love action R RPGs. I love RPGs. I love MMOs. Um, so uh, if something new comes up, like, you know, there's the X Blizzards uh, developers that are creating a game. There's thrown in, there's a, I don't want to mention the names. Um, there's a lot of games that are being thrown at me right now um, that I'm contemplating, but uh, those two games that I mentioned are definitely going to be on the docket for 2024. So just wanted to uh, let everyone know that. And um, that's it. I just wanted to say <laughs> thank you for it the best year from a content perspective for me in in a very 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 long time um so thank you for 2023 i'm looking forward to 2024 i hope you continue to join me and and just watch uh watch this community grow i hope that'll be the case and i also wanted to say as i've stated in a previous video when we did become a youtube partner this this success, this accomplishment, sorry, is doesn't rest solely on my shoulders. It, it's something that wouldn't have been attainable and accomplished without you guys, the, the, the viewers, the subscribers, the people that show up every day. So thank you for that. And lastly, I just want to wish all of you and your families a happy new year. I hope you have a safe and happy celebration please be safe but also have lots of fun um so yeah happy new year to you and yours and we'll see you in 2024